Jose, with the amount of time that you put into to toning your body on a regular basis, you must feel pretty snake bit, huh? I mean, this is two injuries that are really not because of anything that you've done. It's because of something freakish that's happened. Well, I wouldn't use maybe that word to describe it, but yeah, it's a little disappointment uh, knowing that all the dedication and hard work that I put in, not only this off season, but also in spring training and rehabbing from the toe uh, to again have another freak accident kind of send me to the DL. It's disappointing, but something I have to deal with and, and I'll fight through it and I'll be back and hopefully uh, ready to contribute right away. What happened between the time that, you know, the end of the game happened because you played through and when you woke up this morning? Well, throughout the game, it was getting stiffer and a little sore, and I know that I banged it up pretty good. Um, so when the game was over, I got treatment. I was planning on working out. I really uh, stayed away from that. I didn't want to aggravate anything, and thank God I did because I probably would have made it worse. Um, and then I woke up, and it was just stiff, a little you know, some kind of puffy feeling in my knee. Just wasn't really moving great when I woke up. and. Uh, I was walking around the house and uh, I called the medical staff and went and got the MRI and that's where we got the diagnosis. So uh, at least it's not terrible news. It's nothing's torn, nothing's uh, damaged. It's just a matter of resting and strengthening and hopefully I'll be back within those 15 days. As far as what you can do in the next two weeks, is it kind of similar to the situation you had with the toe because it's a lower body that you can kind of work on the upper body but you really can't do much on the lower? Yeah, and I think just trying to work on the inflammation, keeping that out of there and, and just letting those kind of muscles kind of come back to life. You know, that inflammation can shut them down. And that's the main thing, since there wasn't a lot of structural damage, just like a sprain, hyperextension type of injury. Uh, I don't really don't think um, I'm going to be risking a lot of damage structurally um, by strengthening once the inflammation is out of the, the knee. So. Uh, just controlling the, the inflammation is going to be the most important part in the first week and then just get back on it again and start getting back in shape. Well, listen, all the best to you over the next two weeks and uh, hopefully we get you back in the lineup uh, as soon as the DL stint is over. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right, Jose Bautista, the Blue Jays, and the Tampa Bay Rays play the third of three here tonight at Rogers Center.